Hey everybody, today I want to show you guys how to get the IC Enhancer 3.0 mod up and running on GTA 4. So this is the original version of the game, just so you have a comparison to afterwards. Um, it's not too complicated. The hardest thing is probably going to be getting to the 1.0.7 version of the game. Um, my recommendation is to be able to download it if you can. There is a downgrader that will... Uh, downgrade your version to 1.0.7 and if you're on Steam or if you're downloaded the game from Steam too you'll probably want to do that. The problem is on that I couldn't get it to work through Steam OS. It will work through Windows but um, in terms of Steam it's not working so that's why my first recommendation is to download the 1.0.7 version of the game and if you can't do that do the downgrader on Windows and go through that way. So the problem that we're running into with the downgrader here is that it's not letting me select the version that we want to downgrade to. So let me get to the game here just to show you what I'm talking about. So you would pick your .exe, which is what the downgrader is asking for. It says valid file. You'll click next. It'll go through this and then you just click next after that. And then you'll want to select the version here, but the problem is that on SteamOS, you don't seem to be able to do that. And it will let you run through and hit next, but I'm not sure if it defaults to 1.0.8. And it should work on that too, but I've only done this through 1.0.7, so that's what I'm going to stick with for this tutorial. So once you go through all that stuff and you get your game to the 1.0.7 version, then come back here and we'll get started with the mod install. All right, and so once you have the 1.0.7 version of the game, I would run it once just to make sure everything's running as it's supposed to. And then you're gonna wanna open up the folder for GTA 4 where you installed it. And this will have like the GTA 4.exe in it and the launch GTA 4.exe. We're gonna come over to the Nexus Mods website here for the IC Enhancer 3.0 Natural. Come down here to Files, and then we're gonna go to Manual Download. Now here's the downgrader that I was just showing you. So you can download the latest version right here. And then there's the ENB files link. So be careful on this website because there's a bunch of download links that you don't want to click on all around here. So what you'll want to click on is a little black arrow here next to the download button and that will download the ENB uh, series file here, the zip file. And so we're going to want one file just from these folders here. I'm going to take it from the wrapper folder. And then it's the d3d9.dll. So we're going to go to our GTA folder here where we installed everything. And take that DLL file. And we're going to drag and drop it in here. I already had it from testing from before. So I'm just going to overwrite it there. And yeah. So then we'll go back to the IC Enhancer website here for the mod. And then we're going to click on the download button there now. So when we do that, it'll take us to the download section. You'll probably have to create a free account. Do that and then click slow download and let it run through its thing. So one thing I forgot to mention too before we get started here with overwriting stuff, make sure you back up your original GTA 4 folder first just in case anything messes up or because we're moving a lot of files, things can get jumbled and break. So just double check that and I would make a copy of your GTA 4 folder. So after that, we're going to open up the zip file that we downloaded for the IC Enhancer 3.0 natural mod here. We're going to go to the main files, patch 7 and 8, because we use 1.0.7 version. We're going to open this folder, and then we're going to use the main files folder. And then we're going to take shader down to the config text. So we're going to highlight all these things. You can click and drag in the compressed size area, kind of click and highlight everything. And we're going to take that stuff, and we're going to drag it into our GTA 4 folder here. We're going to apply to all, and we're going to overwrite everything. Let that do its thing, and there we go. All right, and so from here, we're going to minimize that folder again. We're going to go to the Optionals folder here. We're going to go down to Command Line, and we're going to open that. And we're going to take the Command Line.txt, and we're just going to click and drag that to that folder as well. Again, I already have it, so I'm just going to overwrite it there. And there's one more thing. 
right? And so now we're going to change the command line.txt file here. So I already did it just to test things out, but this is how yours should look. I'll post it down in the description in case you can't read this too well. But once you have those in there, you should be good. And then we're going to hit save. And then I'm going to close that back out. All right, so then we'll minimize this optionals folder, go down to troubleshooting and support. We're going to go to AMD GPU fix, and then to patch 7 and 8 folder. And then we're going to take the EMB series to INI, click and drag into the GTA 4 folder, overwrite, and there we go. Right, and so from this point, we're done transferring files from the IC Enhancer Mod folder over to our GTA folder. So the next thing we're going to do is open up Lutris. If you're not familiar with Lutris, it's like a third-party game booting program app. And you can download it from the Discover Store here. And so once you do that, you're going to come up here on Lutris and you're going to hit the plus sign on the top left. We're going to say add a locally installed game. We're going to call this GTA 4 Tut. <laughs> and then we're going to hit runner and we're going to say wine and then I'm going to go here to browse and then we're going to come here to our GTA 4 folder and we're going to go to the launch GTA 4.exe here hit OK go to runner options turn on system line tricks I'm going to use proton experimental I think some of the other protons work but I'm going to use proton experimental for this one Come down here and uh, enable system wine tricks and then enable DG Voodoo 2 also. Everything else stays the same default settings under system options tab as well. And there we go. And then I'm going to hit save. And then I'm going to hit play. So the first time you hit play, it'll probably close you out too. So you'll need to do a system restart. And then after you do that, it should work and allow you to boot up. So I'm going to let it boot up here. It's going to probably take uh, one to two minutes at least, uh, to, especially the first time you boot up. So heads up on that one. And I'm going to fast forward here and I'll be right back. And so the first time, well, actually, whenever you run the game, it looks choppy at the beginning. And then it could take a few seconds to kind of get a hold. And so the first thing we're going to go here is we're going to go to the options. We're going to go to the graphics up here on the top, and we're going to change the resolution here, 1280 by 800, 1610 high, medium, 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 off, anisotropic 4, 30, 30, 12, on, on, and then we're going to hit apply, let that adjust, and sometimes this takes a few seconds too, it'll kind of do its thing, and then it'll ask you if you want to keep the settings, and I'm going to hit yes, and then I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to hit start. And there we go. So I'm going to show you kind of how to modify settings as well, but just run outside here and make sure everything's looking somewhat good. Yeah, there we go. And you'll see kind of the light takes time to adjust to, and that's what we're going to be messing with also. But from this point, you should be good. And so I'm going to quit out in the game and then go back to showing you some more settings we can mess around with. Okay. And so from here, we're going to go back to our GTA 4 folder. Then we're going to scroll down here and open up a file called enbseries.ini. So this is where all your graphics settings for the mod will be changed. Um, these are the settings that I used for my gameplay video. So I'm just going to copy these, and then I'm going to paste them all into our new game here. And going down the line, I'll just kind of show you some stuff, and then I'll try to paste what I changed in the description also, just because of YouTube's word limit count, I can't copy like everything in this file and paste it. Um, so I mean, going through like some of these settings, you'll see like effect, bloom is true, ambient occlusion, skylighting, um, things like that, blood of uh, trees, like the reflection amount on the trees, the specular power. Um, so all these are going to be where you're settings for those things are going to be changed feel free to mess around with them street lights car front lights rear lights just kind of read through everything and change it and boot up the game see how things change pretty much the main one that was affecting the lighting of the game here was the the adaption 
And so I changed the min max. So the min I made 0.4 and the max I made 1.0. Um, there are some other things you can change, but I noticed those made the biggest difference. Got your environmental lighting here, sky lighting, sky, particle detail, and color correction. So yeah, so I will try to get that in the description for you guys, just so you can see it a bit clearer. And from that point, you're going to want to save that file and double check it and we're gonna run gta4 again to see if everything worked for those changes all right there we go see that kind of halo effect that was going around before too has disappeared now come down here and just make sure everything's working outside again and there we go so you'll notice too, you may be able to see it in the video, it's a little choppy when spinning the camera because it kind of locks it at like 54, 55 FPS. So now what we're going to do is we're going to close out the game again and I'll show you a couple more things here and we're going to lock it at 50 FPS and it should run a bit smoother. So let's do that here. All right, so coming back to Letras here, we're gonna click on our GTA 4 launcher, and we're gonna go to Create Steam Shortcut. It's not gonna show right away, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna close out Steam, you're gonna wanna exit Steam, and then we're gonna wanna boot back into Steam here. Um, there we go, we're gonna open Steam back up. And make sure that it uh, added that shortcut there. So go back to our library. And Grand Theft GTA 4 Tut. There we go. And I usually like to add things to favorites so it's a little bit easier to find. And there we go. So now this will boot Lutris up in gaming mode at the same time. And you'll be able to run GTA 4 from gaming mode. So that's what we're going to do here. And now we're going to return to gaming mode and we'll be right back. Okay, so I did have to restart my system again. Sometimes Lutris doesn't close out of the game fully and it has issues. So pretty much I had to restart the system. Then I go to my library. Then I go to my favorites come down here to GTA 4 Tut, and then we're going to hit play, and that should boot up here. Alright, and so we're back in the game here. Actually, it doesn't look like it's 1610 aspect ratio again, so I'm going to go back down here. Yeah, i got to change these things back. Sometimes it resets the settings like that, so I just change it back, and it should be okay. So wait for it to accept and come up here. And there it is, and accept. And there we go, okay. So see we're hitting that 53, 54 FPS and that kind of makes it a little bit choppy when you're spinning around and doing stuff. So you'll see like that. Um, so pretty much what we can do here is we'll hit the three button button here to our right. Uh, up that brightness as well and then we're going to come here to our battery and we're going to go down here to our refresh rate and we're going to lock it at 50 fps and there we go we get a little bit smoother so yeah so i hope that helped you guys a lot um i know it's a lot to kind of run through and there are a lot of errors that you can make throughout this um if anything comes up, let me know. Um, but yeah, from there you should be good. So yeah, enjoy, you guys.